you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Jesus told his disciples, Us. This is the power that draws Living Water International to the ends of the earth. We encounter it in the remote jungles of the Amazon in the boldness of nine-year-old Yamaru's dream of becoming a nurse to heal the sick, starting with her little brother. We encounter it in Sierra Leone and Mohamed Karoma, who changed his first name to David when he was baptized. We encounter it in his church, an oasis for Muslims and Christians alike as his country faced a terrifying Ebola epidemic. We encounter the power of God's Holy Spirit in Adama Kargbo, a 60-year-old midwife who dedicates her life to helping women bring babies into the world, but could not stop cholera from taking the life of her own 15-year-old daughter. Now Adama does her job with safe, clean water from a living water well where she heard the gospel message for the first time. The spirit of joy she now has about both water and living water propels us to reach out to the ends of the earth. From faraway places where sharing water and living water with untouchable neighbors is subversive, dangerous, or even illegal, to the spots on earth with the most desperate life and death need for clean water, where the church hears people's cries and responds with good news. From dry African desert communities where the local shaman once cut children with razor blades to release evil spirits, and where the church has now educated the community about the parasites actually causing their pain. Everywhere we go, we find agents of gospel-driven change who persist against all odds, who pray and hope their prayers are heard. And they are. They're heard to the ends of the earth by brothers and sisters who pray like them, hope like them, persevere and dream like them because we feel God's Holy Spirit too, stirring in our souls, bringing us together. So we work and we sacrifice for one another. We listen to each other, share what we know and commit to one another. We identify how God is already at work in our communities and we organize, educate, mobilize, take action and respond to one another's deepest needs for water and for the living water that wells from within every one of us here and to the ends of the earth.